Donald Kimball. Hi, Pat Bateman, nice to meet you. Sorry to barge in on you like this. It's just, I was supposed to have a meeting with Lewis Carruthers, but he's not here and you're here and I know how busy you guys get. So what's the topic of discussion? I've been hired by Meredith Powell to investigate the disappearance of Paul Allen. You're not with the uh, FBI or anything, are you? No, nothing like that. I'm just a private investigator. <laughs> yes. Yes, Paul's disappearance. Yes. Well, I just have a few basic questions about Paul Allen, about yourself. Uh, whiskey? No, thank you. So, what is the topic of discussion? The disappearance of Paul Allen. Right. Um, I haven't heard anything about Paul's disappearance or anything from his peers. Well, or... his family want to keep it quiet. Understandable. So I just have a few basic questions for my files, is that okay? Shoot. Are you okay? Why do you ask? You seem a little nervous. Gin and tonic? No, thank you. Bad habit. I know, sorry, you'd rather I not smoke in here. No, no, it's okay, I guess. You sure? No problem. So, what can you tell me about Paul Allen? <clears throat> well, uh, how well did you know him? I'm at a loss, really. He was a part of that whole Oxbridge crowd. Oxbridge crowd? Yeah, Oxbridge crowd. What do you mean, Oxbridge crowd? Well, for one. I think that he was a closet homosexual who did way too much cocaine. That kind of Oxbridge crowd. But I suppose he, he led an orderly life. Um, he ate a balanced diet. What and can you tell me about his life besides what you've already told me? Where did Paul hang out? Let me think. Uh, the Ritz. Harry's, the yacht club, regular places. He had a yacht? No, no, he just hung out there. And what else can you tell me about Paul? Do you have any witnesses or fingerprints? Well, there's a message on his action machine said he headed for New York. Well, maybe he did. His girlfriend doesn't seem to think so. But has anyone seen him in New York? Actually, yes. And apparently someone confused a Hubert Ainsworth for Paul, so... <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. Was Paul into any sort of occultism or devil worship? What? Did you hear about the, the young stockbroker in Chicago who, who murdered a girl and was arrested for using her body as part of his voodoo worship? Yikes. Paul, no, no. He wouldn't do that. No. No, he, uh, he followed the balanced diet. And, and was uh, into the whole Oxbridge thing. Basically, no one's seen or heard anything. That's so typical, isn't it? It's very strange. One day, you're just walking along, headed to work alive, and then... Nothing. People just disappear. The earth just opens up and swallows people. Eerie. Really eerie.